once young dogs have started to work nicely, I think it's really important to move their training on by giving them lots of different locations to keep their interest. I always try and train them with another dog, something obedient enough to sit still or act as a distraction depending on what you want, because that's the reality of the real world. There'll be other dogs about. I nearly always start with a bit of heel work, taking it in turns with the other dog moving around them or them moving around the other dog. And they mustn't lunge, they must just appear as if they're ignoring the other animals. Here I deliberately call the older dog past the youngster who's nine months old and she's just got to sit and watch and she should only respond to her own name. And be sure to fuss and talk to older dogs and your youngster mustn't move. Here are some steadiness exercises before we start throwing dummies for retrieves. They weren't perfect, but they did improve. Once I've thrown several dummies around and they've been nice and steady and I've then picked them all up, I'll often leave just one, which was a particularly long way away, and that will be a memory retrieve for the end. I use my older dogs in all sorts of ways. In this case, she's sitting part way back so that this youngster has got to run by her with the retrieve. All added distractions. You'll see that in training, I usually stroke my dogs on the head before they give me the dummy so that when my hand moves towards them, they're not expecting to spit the dummy out immediately. Having done a couple of straightforward retrieves and some steadiness work, I then move to a little bit of split work for the youngster. Between exercises, move to a new location, always make them walk to heel, and invariably now, at nine months, I'm trying not to have her on the lead at all, unless I feel she needs a particular correction. So once she's set up, she has a left and a right, and I also tend to throw one just in front of me, so that when they're bringing in any dummy, they've also got to come past a dummy that's on the ground. Again, making best use of all the typical distractions that you'll get on a shoot day. So it's really important here to make a very clear command with your whole body, your arm and your leg. So she's a bit sloppy bringing this in, holding it like a cigar. I'll accept it from her, but then put it straight back in and expect a proper delivery. And it's only then that she has an exchange for the treat. So as this is teaching direction commands, we've still got our right hand dummy out on the ground and I sit her back in position and she's going to have the left hand one thrown again as a distraction. Now here you'll see she moved as I walked away and that isn't good enough, you have to go back and correct them. And you'll notice that she gets a little bit playful and I just have to hold my ground and if I'd gone ahead there she would have run off. So I'm waiting until she's sat and then move quietly forward. It's just important to understand exactly how much pressure you can put on a pup. You want them to achieve, but they must get it right. So here goes the left hand distraction again, and then we'll send her for the right hand dummy. And all the time the other dog is sitting quietly and is always a distraction for the pup coming back. So the final thing in this dummy session is to get the older dog to do a retrieve and in doing so she'll run past, close past the youngster sitting out there and that's going to maximise the distraction. So the young dog has always got something to think about, she's not going to get bored. 
Boredom will often encourage naughtiness, so avoid it at all costs. And don't forget your praise for the youngster that's waited patiently. We then went into the woods to do some cold game retrieves. I never put the cold game or warm game in the open. They're always blinds in a bit of cover because the dogs can get too excited otherwise. And I never throw them. As I say, they're always blinds that have been placed out. And in the case of this one, the wind is helping her because it's coming into the wood. And for all blinds, she's generally having either a whistle search command or the high lost search command. Cold game retrieves don't want to be complicated. You're just looking for a calm and quiet pickup and delivery. So again, just looking for calmness, sending her out. I don't want her rushing. And she's got to wind it. It's slightly concealed at the base of a tree deliberately, which she finds absolutely fine. And then coming back, the distraction of the other dog. But you just want them to carry it quietly. Obviously, she's had a hen and then a cockbird here, so they're different. And she'll soon learn how best to pick them up. Right, sit. Sit. And here you'll see I drop both sit. the birds on the ground deliberately so that she's able to stay in a sitting position and not jump on them. Sit. The time Very will come good. when there may be flapping birds on the ground and you don't want dogs to snatch at birds. They only go if they're sent for them on a tree. Sit. So a bit of work on game usually lifts the excitement level of the dog and certainly lifts its interest. So we've got just a short walk to heel to the last location. And this is a piece of ground guaranteed to raise the interest for the dogs because it's challenging and quite different from before. The youngster can watch the old dog first. So the challenges for the youngster are to handle herself on the steep sides, to find a way across the stream because it's very steep in some places at the bottom and she'll have to find the Oxy. gaps where she can get through. Oxy. And then to remember the mark which is at the top on the far side and it's quite a long way up that far bank and you can easily get up the bank by taking the easiest route and find yourself in the wrong place at the top. So quite a lot for a youngster to understand and learn. And I just give them the help of a search whistle when they're in the area on the top of the bank. Just a reminder when you're working two dogs, not to let the youngsters steal a retrieve from another dog. You'll have noticed that Mavis was very keen to go when Oxo had just been sent. So I was very careful here to make sure that she didn't become unsteady at all when this dummy was thrown. She runs a bit wide here, but you don't want to interfere at all with these kind of retrieves. Let the dog work it out. She's got to find out where she can cross the water. And she does pretty well. The only help she gets is a search whistle when she's in the area. So enjoy training your young dogs, don't overdo your retrieving, keep them keen. This is as much as I'd ever do in one session and probably never more than a couple of times a week. Good girl, good girl, very, very good, very good, good girl, Mavis, good girl, good girl, I'm done. <laughs>